Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. My name is Didi Tayutu. Yes, you might not recognize me because normally I have long hair and I walk in a shirt on the beach. <laughs> now, it's really early. I wanted to show you a beautiful sunrise, but it's very cloudy, so the sunrise won't be that beautiful. But it's cold. It's like 5, 6 degrees in the morning now here in Lagos, Portugal. In today's video, I'm going to bomb you with really, really, really cool Bitcoin charts. One chart is just amazing. It will show you exactly what we are doing now with Bitcoin and why we have problems with breaking this 36k level at the moment and I will show you what I expect will happen. Of course we're going to look also at the Bam Bam charts, we're going to talk about the news because there is something happening in the United States, maybe maybe the riots are all about the one trillion dollar market cap we just reached with cryptocurrency this is a milestone in the history of cryptocurrency one trillion us dollar and we will end the video of course talking about a family so make sure you watch the complete video because there is a treasure hunt in this one you can claim your families but you need to watch the complete video to find the qr code good luck with finding the qr code and enjoy today's video guys bam Bitcoiners, a new all-time high, 37,800 US dollar. We are reaching for 40 Ks. I need to find a place where the wind is not blowing too hard because else the sound is disturbing. I still don't have a dead cat for the DJI. Uh, I'm filming with the DJI and with the iPhone today because the iPhone, I think, is a little bit better in the darkish scenes. So that's why I sometimes switch to the iPhone. But the main part will be again with this DJI. Check this view, guys. It's so beautiful. One, two, three. Bam. But let's talk about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. And we are going to start, of course, with the Bitcoin part. Part where I bomb you with Bitcoin charts. Bam. First things first, 1 trillion US dollar market cut. Second thing, Bitcoin new all-time high, 37,000 US dollar. I think it's even 37,600 US dollar. I think we are reaching for 40K. What will happen when we reach 40K? Let's get rid of the chewing gum. <laughs> what will happen when we reach 40K? Will we then finally see this pullback of 30 to 40%? 30% pullback will be 12k, so we'll be back, bam, to 28,000 US dollar. Or 40% will be 16k, will be bam, back to 24,000 US dollar. Both options are possible, but there is also a third option, and that is no pullback. Maybe 40k back to 35k, 50k back to 45k, maybe 100k, and then the huge pullback of 80% back to 20k. All things are possible in Bitcoin. Nobody has a glass ball. Nobody can predict the future. At least the bam bam indicator can do a little bit, but you know, we can't predict too far into the, into the future. And it is not only Bitcoin that reached a new autumn high. Check this chart. Bam. 
this is the bitcoin hash rate also the bitcoin hash rate a new all-time high 148.1 is the new all-time high in hash rate in bitcoin this is a huge number we have never seen so much hashing power before there's a lot of mining going on believe me there's a lot of mining going on and yes we reached this 1 trillion us dollar market cap of which 688 billion us dollar is bitcoin 688 billion us dollar in bitcoin responsible now for the 1 trillion dollar market cap in the complete crypto industry to give you an example tesla is uh, has a market cap of 716 billion so yes we are now closing up to tesla we are you know the pac-man image i always show you guys we are now nearing tesla so if we reach 40k we will probably be as big as the market cap as tesla with bitcoin that is huge if it is up to me but still very small if you compare it to all the money around in the world of course it's big tesla is a big company Apple is the biggest one with I think 2.3 trillion market cap. So we still need to eat Tesla, Microsoft, Facebook, then reach uh, Apple before we have tr $2 trillion market cap. And then we are still small if we compare it then to gold because gold has a 9 trillion US dollar market cap. And we are even smaller when we compare it to real estate because that one has an 80 trillion dollar market cap. So yes, a lot of growth potential for Bitcoin we can go up way much higher than we are at the moment and that is very positive for bitcoin bam oh shit i need to go back the sun is rising and now it is beautiful i'm standing on the most bad point idiot did he check it guys wow bam do you see those beautiful colors i'm going to film those colors also with my iphone just to show you the difference in the color tone. Wow, this is amazing. I think the sunrise is even more beautiful now because of the clouds. Look how beautiful. This is why I got up really early for you guys to show you a beautiful sunrise. And I thought, man, these clouds will ruin it. But these clouds are even making it more beautiful. These clouds are making it like magical. The most important chart I want to share with you guys is this weekly Bitcoin chart. This is what we call the log growth curve chart. And this log growth curve chart is really, really, really exciting because you can exactly see that we are copying what happened in 2017 and we are now trying to do the same in 2021 again. I will show you. Check this chart. Bam! There are two main areas I want you to focus on in this chart. You can see just before 2017, this green square I created. This is the moment we were fighting this midline in this growth curve. You can see we have a top line. That is where the cycle tops out, where the all-time high is being created. You can see this bottom line. This is the line where the bear market creates the ultimate low of that cycle. And we have this midline. This midline is the important one today to look at because we saw in 2017 that we were fighting this midline just before we saw this explosive run. The moment we touched the midline the first time till the top of the cycle took about 22 weeks. So we now today touched this midline for the first time. Does this mean it will take another 22 weeks to the top of this cycle? That is the question. Let's take a look at 2017. At 2017, we can see the first time we touched this midline, we started to fight it. We were fighting it for five weeks, and then the fifth week we broke it, but we broke it not for long because we, bam, we fell all the way back to the 21 moving average, this thick yellow line on the chart. 
that was a pullback of around 38 percent now we are fighting this line for the first time so will be will we again be fighting this line for five weeks to see again a three-week pullback to this yellow line because it took three weeks from this breaking point of this midline to the pullback into this yellow line in 2017 will we do this again so the yellow line will increase 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 and then a moment in five weeks time where we test this line five times then we pull back to the 21 moving average is this going to happen again and after we pull back to this yellow line in 2017 it took another three weeks to break this midline and then when we broke this midline it took nine weeks to the top of the cycle is this what we are going to see in 2020 again are we going to pull back to this yellow line in five weeks then three weeks build up again to the midline break this midline and then nine weeks long in a bull run up to the top of the cycle which then should be around 113,000 US dollar if we would reach the top of the cycle in June I think it's around the first week of June the 7th of June then the top line of this growth curve is around 113,000 US dollar per Bitcoin if we would copy 2017's bull run from now on we could reach this all-time high of 113,000 US dollar in June this year which would be really strange because normally we reach an all-time high in December in 2013 we reached the top in December in 2017 we reached the top in December so normally we should reach this top in December 2021 so what does this mean does this mean that this run to 100k is just an in-between run that we pull back to 40k and then build up again to 288k like in December 2021 all speculative yes I can't predict the future but I love to look at these charts and kind of see how this all could play out and in my opinion this is an option how it could play out and that would be really cool that would be the huge Bitcoin movement we are creating with the community BAM and because I said BAM let's take a look at the BAM charts guys let's take a look at the profit we made yesterday this chart BAM you can see the first trade we did was a long the long made us 27% we traded with 1% of the Bitcoin price 350 US dollars nowadays <laughs> with a leverage of 10 and yes we traded on Bybit please sign up to Bybit using my referral link because you get a $90 deposit bonus and we get a bonus and we use that bonus to support poor people all over the world also when you want to sign up to Prime Equity use our referral link you will get a 50% deposit bonus and on Dudex a $300 deposit bonus use our referral links we share the profits we make with these referral links with poor people all over the world this is what we do as the huge Bitcoin family try to lead by example and show that we can make a difference we can change the world if we just start to share our profits we make in this beautiful industry that we call cryptocurrency but the first trade was along with 27 percent profit which turned 350 US dollar and 450 US dollar and after that we did a short that gave 17 percent profit and turned the 450 US dollar in 520 US dollar and then again a long I think it was a 16 percent long turning the amount into 600 US dollar that was followed up with another long I think it was a 20 percent long bringing us to the total of 720 US dollar starting with 350 US dollar ending up with 720 US dollar playing it safe only a leverage of 10 on Bybit using the DD BAM BAM signals to long or short the market the moment we see a triple confirmation you can see in this chart that we didn't take any long or short early we saw the flag we waited for a candle to close above the yellow stepping line we saw the blue line crossing upwards on the red or the white line or the yellow sand turning into the green hills that was the triple confirmation and because we saw a confirmation on the margin call 2.02 on the bam bam indicator and the margin call that is why we took the longs and the shorts we are not taking risk we are playing it safe because the market is tremendously 
volatile at the moment so we wait for this triple confirmation that is why the bam bam indicator works you get a confirmation three times and that is when you take the trade and that is how we make the profits bam let's try to walk now because i can't stand still all the time and walk maybe the will, wind will screw up the video but you know i don't want to stand still ah, it's really windy shit <laughs> <laughs> the moment you top your head above this here, this level, you get oops, the wind in your face. Uh, let's just try it. But let's jump into the blockchain part, the news part, where I uh, talk to you about the news that I read this morning. Hopefully, the sound is okay. Maybe with my fat body, I can block the wind from uh, disturbing the sound, guys. Let's jump into the news part. Bam! First news part, Ripple, XRP, again in a lawsuit. And the strange thing now with Ripple is that you see that the one of the founders, Jet McCallum, you know, he sold $400 million worth of XRP in 2020. So he sold $400 million worth of XRP in 2020. Did he know that XRP was going to crash? Why would he sell that shitload of XRP in 2020? 400 million dollar worth of XRP and yes in total I think Jet sold in total around 1.2 billion dollar worth of XRP. I find this really strange. Why would you sell this shitload of XRP in 2020 just before the crash in XRP, just before the tech the sec knocks on your door and all that stuff. Maybe he knew, maybe he didn't, I don't know, but this is what you get with centralized currencies. This is what you get. This is what is possible. The second knock the door of a centralized currency, they will never be able to knock the door of Bitcoin because there is no door. There is no Bitcoin door. There is only a Bitcoin moon. <laughs> and they won't go to the moon to knock the door over there. I can promise you that. Another news, guys, about the US. They are having riots over there. They were just going and storming into the capital bam they are just going inside they were fighting the police there was huge riots because trump told them to come up and stand up for their rights wow the sun is still coming a little bit now Ooh, beautiful and i don't know if trump like really did it because this is what the media is telling us and i don't know if it's only trump people or maybe just also normal normal u.s citizens that just don't agree with the way that everything is going in the u.s but we can see that 2021 is going to be a very very special year i think it's going to be a year where people are going to stand up for their rights we are getting sick of all the stuff that they are just doing randomly with us we don't want to be controlled anymore like robots we want to be free we don't want to be locked down we don't want to live in fear we want to break out of this very centralized system and that is what we can see now riots in the united states riots in all kinds of countries all over the world in berlin massive massive riots because of the lockdowns uh, like a few months ago people are starting to stand up and this is very important in my opinion and this is also one of the reasons i think that bitcoin is growing tremendously because not only the normal people are standing up also these huge companies micro strategy grayscale paypal mass mutual Citibank, all of these, they know something is going to happen. That is why they are protecting their wealth. That is why they are stepping into Bitcoin. That is why they joined this Bitcoin movement. They want to protect their wealth, their capital, their hard earned capital. And they understand now that Bitcoin is the way in the 21st century to protect your capital. It is not gold anymore, it is Bitcoin that rules. It is Bitcoin that is king, and it is Bitcoin that will be the biggest king in 2021. Bam, 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 Bitcoin is king. Pew. A very important item, guys. I'm going to warn you because there are three apps that are stealing your Bitcoins without that you even know it. I need to step down a little bit over here. One second check this view over here but there are three apps that are stealing your bitcoins so be aware don't download these apps if you have downloaded them delete them because they are stealing your bitcoins on the back end many complaints of people that lost their bitcoins because of these three apps the first app is called jam delete it immediately the second app is called 
E-Trade. Delete it immediately. They steal your Bitcoins. And the third app, guys, is DAO Poker. Yes, this is a poker, like a DAO Poker site. They steal your cryptocurrency. Delete all of those three apps. I will comment down below again these apps so that you know exactly which apps are stealing your Bitcoins. Please be aware. This is a huge scam delete those three apps it is very important i will comment down below which apps again it are but please be aware that you don't download these apps onto your telephone while i walk into wow oh shit! <laughs> that is really deep that is really deep ah uh, that is wait check you need to check this guys um how can i switch this is how i switch yes and then i need to push that button and then i can show you how deep this is yeah, check. This is how deep. This is really deep. Woo! Check the birds. Face track on the DJI is saying. That is amazing. The view is amazing. The sun is going up. Uh, this is just, I, it's not, it, it is cold, but you know, I can handle it because I just love these wide views of the sea and the coastal line of Portugal. It's a, it's an amazing country. And I think it's even more beautiful in the summer <laughs> because you, eh, poco frio. So again, be aware. I think they use something called electro wet. Electro red, 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 like a red. The one, yeah, my English is not good. Electro red <laughs> to steal your bitcoins. So be aware of these three cents. Another item I want to talk about you is digital asset news. You all know Rob from Digital Asset News. He did a massive shout out yesterday to us as a family because I was on a show a couple of months ago and we talked about dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin or going all in like me. Rob said dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin DD is way better than going all in. You were a little bit lucky. Yes, of course, I was a little bit lucky. And yes, maybe it was the most stupid thing I ever did in my life. It turned out pretty well at the moment, but I agree with Rob. If you want to play it safe, then dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin is the safest play. And this means that you add Bitcoin to your portfolio like every single day or every single week. But in this conversation we had, I told Rob, yeah, but you can also go all in like we did, sell everything you have, your house, your companies, your cars, everything, and then start to dollar cost average. Why would you only dollar cost average with the savings you have every day like with the money you have like a little bit left over from that day why not just dollar cost average into bitcoin all the way sell your house sell your car sell everything play it then save by dollar cost averaging into bitcoin i think that that is also a strategy go all in by settling everything you have and then dollar cost average into so yes rob i think you are completely right i think dollar cost averaging is the safest play and I love your channel. So this is my shout out back to Digital Asset News because I love the content that Rob is creating. I love how he warns people for scams. I learned a lot of this. That's why I'm warning you for scams now as well. And yes, also financially, Rob is right. Dollar cost averaging is the safest play. But, <laughs> but, there's always a but. But if you would have gone all in, the moment I was on the show on the Rob, you would have did a really good trade. I think you would almost have tripled your amount that you went all in with. So if you would have went all in with your house, everything, and that was 300,000 US dollar, you would now have almost a million US dollar. So yes, all in is also a very good strategy, <laughs> but you need to time it right. I wouldn't go all in now. Because I think we need to see a pullback. And after this pullback, I again would go all in. Because I believe that Bitcoin will go to 100,000 US dollars. I think the video is getting too long. But I will try to talk a little bit about the family as well. Um, as a family, we are doing pretty well. But like I said in yesterday's video, we are really thinking about what to do next. Maybe we turn, Maybe we will even stay in Portugal and just, you know, freeze for a month. Like freeze. 
<laughs> because it's called one trillion yeah that was a good one uh, for my um, thumbnail but we could stay here as a family because you know it's a little bit cold but maybe it heat warms up again but we got invited to a ski area which we love to do as well and maybe even to the sun we really don't know so let's see where that will end up i'm very happy on how the huge bitcoin family including you is growing we are growing tremendously guys we are almost at 2000 family members the market cap of the bitcoin family token reach 170,000 US dollar. We have a market cap of 170,000 US dollar. The family token started at like 10 cents and we climbed all the way up to 25 cents. We reached a new all time high in the family token of 25 cents. A lot of people that provided liquidity, they earned 6,000 family tokens for example in december for providing liquidity this is 1500 us dollar so in january again you can provide liquidity up to the seventh you can provide liquidity and we will make snapshots and if you provide liquidity at the end of the month you will share again in the reward pot of 40,000 family which can be a huge amount if family token decides to grow even higher than 25 cents aside of that we are going to launch the beef at the end of this week and we are going to launch many more things during this month and the next upcoming months because we want to create a huge kick-ass bitcoin family movement to change the world and yes it is always the strange and the crazy and the people that think outside of the box that will change the world so let's create a huge bitcoin family that is able to think outside of the box that is crazy as fuck and it will change the world a little bit as much as we can with this huge Bitcoin family by sharing the profits that we make with the BFAT, with the BAM BAM indicator because you buy them, because you use them we make profit as a Bitcoin family and we will share this with projects all over the world we will start up this fund where we will give micro loans we will start up small companies for poor people and you will be sharing into these revenues as well because this it means that the huge Bitcoin family is going to grow bigger and bigger and bigger and probably this will lead to an increase of the price of the family token and because you were the first in the family token you will make some out of this as well this is the cycle the micro economy that i try to create that creates a win-win situation for all of us not only for my five headed family but for the two thousand headed family in the discord server that will probably grow to a fifty thousand headed family soon and for all those people out there win 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 that is the goal that was everything for today guys i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video up while i climbed this mountain well, the mountain <laughs> while i climbed this step if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as i love to respond to your comments i want to thank you for watching this video again and want to remind you to always zoom out in bitcoin zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about thank you for watching today and hopefully see you tomorrow again from here in portugal zooming out bam Thank you.